I'm a Scripps cardiovascular ICU nurse. We primarily take care of heart surgery patients, um, patients that have had heart attacks outside the hospital. We recover them and we send them on their way to hopefully home to be discharged. Um, and now after the COVID pandemic, we take care of COVID patients. And I'd like to say that our unit is probably half COVID patients, if not more. We are doing our best to safeguard our health and wellness against them. And we are making sure they're safe and the hospital staff is safe by using PPE such as masks, eye goggles, and face shields, just as an added layer of protection because a lot of us have families that we want to protect when we go home. We want people to know that it is always a team approach when it comes to taking care of any patient, whether it's heart surgery patient or it's a COVID patient. We are the patient's extended family from the pharmacist to the physical therapist to the nurse to the doctors. We're there for them 100%. For the COVID patients, we've been implementing safe, life-saving devices that allow more oxygen to reach the blood and to be returned back to the patient. That allows the lungs to rest and recover. We also place patients on their tummy for tummy, tummy time and that allows the patient's lungs to expand and to oxygenate. But whatever your reason is for being in the hospital, whether it's COVID or heart surgery, we want you to know that we're here to take care of you as we always did with compassion and excellence. Community support has been overwhelming. It has been so phenomenal to be at the receiving end of it. We have organizations and various businesses reach out local businesses too for catered meals, drinks, treats, and we're so thankful for them. We had a makeup company that actually donated a box of mascara because they knew that our faces are covered and hidden behind the mask and they knew how important it is for us to speak with our eyes. Uh, we have thank you cards and letters from children and families that are handwritten, so thoughtful, and they're all plastered all over our unit and so it's nice to see them every once in a while in the middle of our day just to get an uplifting and calmness um, from them. Working in the ICU is stressful to begin with. However, with this COVID crisis, our anxiety and stress levels have peaked at a new height. Our unit has actually opened a new room called the Tranquility Room and it has aromatherapy, it has a lot of space so we can maintain that six feet of social distancing. We take a breaks there. And then after my shift, I take a shower here in the hospital, I remove all my dirty scrubs and I double bag it. That way I know when I go home, I am protecting my 11 month old and my husband because I have to take responsibility of protecting my family. A heartfelt moment was recently when we had a patient with COVID. He was with us in the ICU for 60 days and he just got worse and worse. And we tried everything. We tried all the meds, the life-saving devices. And it seemed like he was at death's doorstep a handful of times. Um, but one day he took a turn and he just got better after that day after day. And he was, he was a miracle. He started to communicate with us. He started to communicate with his family through iPad. From being bed rest for 60 days, he took his first steps with physical therapy. He was able to walk out of his ICU room and he was able to get discharged. And the, day, the days leading up to that, we were finally able to meet the person behind all the meds, behind all the labs, behind all the procedures. And he's got a great personality. He's funny, he's witty, he's sharp, and he's so insightful now. And this makes it all worth it to know that we are saving lives, making a difference during these times. It's an honor for me to take care of patients because this is what I signed up for. From nursing school over a decade ago to now, I had no idea I was gonna be taking care of patients in this capacity, but to be there almost at their deathbed, to hugging them and shaking their hands on their way out being discharged makes it all worth it.